from Father's Prayers, Part 2, Entreaty, page 112. Please let us know the time of our life. Until now, for Unification Church members, the time has come near, but it worries me greatly. And I cannot help but be skeptical about how many people know that the time is coming. Time passes as the time, but we know that nothing will work today if people are the same as they were in the past. We know that when the spring comes as the time to plant seeds, if the seeds are planted, the shoots will sprout. And when the summer comes, the shoots, shoots will grow, and the fall comes, and they'll bear fruit. And just before winter comes, there's a time to harvest. When we see one living being going through the course of its life, according to the laws of natural phenomena like this, if there's a person who in his lifetime is greeting the spring season of his life of faith, please allow him also to greet the summer season. In the summer season, it's not the luxuriously growing leaf that's good. Please allow us to understand how precious the stem is which allowed it to grow. We know that this stem, as a stem I alone can possess, brings flowers into bloom and bears fruit. And if it's a yearly plant, that fruit brings the combined results of the value of the whole year. We must understand that a life of faith has times like that as well. Please let us know that throughout our lives, in relation to, to our course of knowing the will, one time is a spring season, one time is a summer season, one time is a fall season, and one time is a harvest season. When we reach the harvest season, centered on the will, we must offer everything and give our full devotion and bring in the harvest. And if we do not claim the things we harvest as our own, but give them to you, and then receive them back as ours, we form a relationship with you, and all things can belong to us. Because we know that being able to have a relationship has value, we who are going the course of restoration should not first have all things as our own. Rather, everything must be yours, Father. We who are in the position of having received your call and are following must clearly understand that preparing our own personality in life does not come first. But we must prepare for your personality and your life first. More than anything else, please do not let those of us lose the battle through the lives of a day. And we earnestly hope and desire that you will bless us, Father, not to lose in relation to the battle through our lives of a month. May all things be together with the standard of your victory. And we earnestly ask you to guide us to become sons and daughters whose minds will always rush valiantly and boldly in that direction. We've humbly prayed and be there at the place of your final victory. We've humbly prayed all these things in the name of our true parents, Anju. January 24th, 1971.